Hello everyone. Today we are going to find out how much power a brand new CVO 121 ST Road Glide makes. Check this beauty out. It's really freaking cool. Check out that license plate. It has a this big screen dashboard. You've already all you YouTube guys have seen this stuff already, but you haven't seen the power on my dyno. So we're about to find out. Two runs in fifth gear, one in sixth gear. The sixth gear, the torque limiter pulled the power off at a lower RPM, at 4,700 RPM. So you can kind of see the power we got here. We have here in sixth gear, the higher number would be 135 torque and 118 horse, where it shut her down at 47. In fifth gear, we were able to go to about 5,700 5, RPMs. And you can see here it held here Pretty good power to 4,700 RPMs where the torque limiter just pulled it down and started closing the throttle plate because it didn't want us to keep going. Interesting, not bad. Fresh out of the box, 100% stock, completely untouched. Okay, we have our 2024 CVO Road Glide ST with the 121 inch engine in there, no VVT. We have installed a Chromeworks 2-2 two two exhaust system. Check out this beautiful system. It is awesome. With louvered baffles and the Screaming Eagle street tuner. We're about to see what kind of power this makes and how it runs with this map downloaded here that we have available to us. I'm gonna try and data log it with the uh, software on my telephone from Screaming Eagle. And also I have some O2 sensors in here so I can see what's really going on with the mixtures.
And we can see here by watching this video, you can see how the mixer is as we're riding this around with the Scream Eagle download with this exhaust system. It's really not that bad. You know, I have the two AFRs here, front and rear cylinder. You can watch these torque values as my RPM speed, brake percentage, how much load's on here while I'm going up a different, trying to simulate riding up hills and around. Down here in the telephone, you could, if you zoom in, you could see where the temperatures were and throttle positions and such. But altogether, I have to say, on the machine here, not bad. You see our mixture here. Let me just close one of these out, bring up. Um, let's bring up a fifth gear. There we go. You can see here, our mixture right here, we need more fuel at rear cylinder up to 2,500 RPMs under full load. A little heavy here in the full load. A 2,700 on the front cylinder and our front cylinder wants more fuel here. Between 3,500 and 4,000 RPMs. Well, you got it, it's fine. And you can see here, it's not bad everywhere else. I mean, this I'd be a little concerned with, but you, this is only as you're whacking through the gears. Single graph, 136 foot-pounds of torque, 124 foot-pounds of torque. Um, original. Is original stock exhaust as stock from the factory. You can see it's a huge gain putting this chrome work system on here with the louvered baffle. Also sounds pretty darn awesome. And we made a a whole lot more power, 136.6 foot-pounds of torque, 124 horsepower with a stock bike with an exhaust thrown in here with a Harley-Davidson download. Not bad at all.